Hi, podcasters. Um, you're out there and you're listening to a special new feature on Paul Llewellyn Show. This is a talk show segment. And we're talking about natural life issues and things that are affecting us as people on this earth. And um, various topics will be evolved going forward. So please stay tuned. All right. So today we're talking about um, relationships. Uh, basic stuff that happens with people and you know things that a partner probably should help with or should be a little bit more open um some people might say they're too honest with their partner so they is there something really to be too honest with your partner anyway on board we have um of our technical panel um, today ashley and Josh inside the studio with me today. And um, I don't know. We're going to chat a little bit for you guys out there on the uh, World Wide Web, international internet, worldwide, locked in right now to the Paul Llewellyn talk show. Hi, guys. Welcome. Boy. Yo, Josh, you there? Josh is here. Yeah. He's, he's like, he's a sofa type. <laughs> so you got to talk up, Josh, so they can hear you. Well, we were talking earlier before we went on here uh, about. This is with people, uh, relationship. But why would you have an issue as a partner, whether male or female? And let's say you have something to be done, burning issue, and you say to your partner, text them or call them or physically talk to them and say, "Hey, listen, this is what I need to have done, but I don't have the money or I don't, I don't, I don't have what it takes to get it done, but I need it done." But in the interim, the person went dark on you like literally no response no suggestions no and josh you were alluding to something that you were you know saying that you was you know making a reference to what were you really saying all right so like with with them like going dark i don't really know i don't know what i would do in that situation but in general though like if you have if you have a problem i think that even if you don't think that the partner could help it's so important to say something to them because like when something's stressing you out when something's bothering you no matter how hard you try it's probably going to like come out in some way totally 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 and it's 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 completely understandable um in that respect because most of the time people don't normally speak their mind they sometimes act it out in um the welder. The yes, he is. Uh, yes, he is. Okay. It's the inverbal response, what I call inverbal response, where the person might say something, but not from their lips. But you'll see the emotions swelling out. They stop cooking. Mm-hmm. Um, they stop. Can we be very clear here? Having sex. In, in layman term, they close the door on you. They speak inverbally to you, not not from the mouth but you see things that stop happening they used to cook your nice dinner they be sloppy with cooking or they don't cook at all i mean how do you see this ash i mean how do you really break cross that bridge you reach out to your partner male or female whichever gender it is on the side of the issue and they literally just shut the door multitude of reasons and I don't think the best way to go about it is to just guess and assume what the other person is feeling Um, if you notice that something like that is occurring um, they're getting more distant um, whatever the case might be you have to be strong enough to actually confront them Um, obviously the other route is to go silent also but two wrongs don't make a right And if you really care about not wasting your time with someone who truly doesn't care about you, then you need to take that plunge and bring it to their attention. And find a time where they can actually sit down and discuss with you what the issue is. Um, And even if that means that there isn't really an issue and they're just dealing with something personally, wouldn't you want to be included in that as well? So it goes Mm. both ways. If you 
are experiencing that your partner is not responding like they used to, you need to find out why, because it might be something that you're doing or not doing in this case. So in reality then, um, it is a situation where you have to meet on a common ground, as, as, as you put it. That, um, but what if, because I'm, I'm, I'm being the advocate in the whole of this here now. <laughs> what if the person is really not, they're already crossed that common ground. They don't want to discuss nothing. They're like, that's it. Um, I, I don't want to talk about it. Where, where do you go then? Do you still pursue this this action plan of wanting to get your partner involved in your decision making or whatever? Or do you just say, you know what, it's time for me to close the door and move on? Well, that really depends on how much worth you give yourself. It really depends on how much trauma you're willing to go through. To go through. Um, and that's, to me, um, voluntarily going through something like that really depends on how much worth you give yourself, how much value you see in yourself. Because um, just as easily we can choose to be in a relationship, we can also leave it. Um, especially if we're not being fulfilled in whatever way you feel at the time is not um, the way you want it, then it's entirely up to you. If you stay or you go. Now I've seen many people struggle with this, even to my own siblings and even myself who stay longer than I should because of whatever case, um, because of history, because of all the time and, and, and energy I put into the relationship. I feel that due to that fact, I'm not leaving because then that would be my time wasted. Um, but it never really works out that way because if you see it as time wasted, then it's hardly um, a point to stay. To me, it's just a lesson. If they're not, if your partner is not willing to put in the work to be with you, then you need to be strong enough to leave and find someone that will. Because I'm sure that there is someone there that will do their their part to be who you want and who you need and I'm not saying that we always need to find someone that is um, financially good for us because money yes although it, it is very important it is not the only reason to be in a relationship um, there's other factors um, especially um, emotional um, needs that we have um, to me are more important than financial because if you're with the right person who emotionally fulfills you and who cares about you you guys work together to become financially stable and fulfill any desires that you might have um, throughout your lifetime but if i'm with someone who's not necessarily putting in that effort or doesn't really care about my goals my aspirations or my issues or anything internally that i'm dealing with emotionally then i see that as a block to me becoming, I guess, my better self. And I need to find someone else that more fits with what my desires are, what my future goals are. Um, because you will, yes, ultimately waste a lot of time. Um, but what I've learned personally, I can't see it as wasted time. Because at one point in time, it was good. I did learn a lot. I did experience the love. I did create memories with that person. But that person has grown into someone else that I do not know. And that happens. No one stays the same. No one. It doesn't matter the age you are. Because every experience you have, every trauma, every letdown creates a new version of you. So if I'm dating someone... And 10 years from now, we're still together and I've started to realize that they're not the same person. That's natural. Now, you have to be the, the smart one in this and decide, okay... Am I going to take this obese energy? Yes. <laughs> Am I going to still be with this person? Are oh we going to talk about it? Are we going to work it out? Or am I leaving? Yeah. 
it's a real depth of, of what you're faced with now at this new journey of your of your your tenure with this person because like you rightly said um <laughs> jesus 10 years you mean the first five six years bliss you travel a lot you go to nice exotic places and all of a sudden you know this guy just becomes a grandpa he's just mm -hmm. not treating you with them nice special handouts you know the guy the girl she don't even call you to text you to say hey hon how's your day you know mm -hmm. these things just melt over time and you're saying this is a natural stuff this is something that is expected and of course it depends on both parties involved to mm -hmm. evolve in this new era and not take it as a sidetrack to go off to somebody mm -hmm. else um mm -hmm. do you feel that way i'm josh i mean what do you think by 18 bro i don't, I don't know well it is natural for things like that to happen because i noticed that you know maybe on a small chance that person who is kind of um not doing all that they used to in the past it might be something totally not related to you and it might just be a whole lot about them and their issues and um, then and then it filters into your actual relationship then yeah. kind of puts you on the spot yeah and then if you're not sensitive enough and i i really i mean i almost cried with your expression earlier because it was so deep oh, man, I report. It, it is it was so deep in and what you spoke about um, in your expression earlier, it was so deep that that you went, you literally put me on an aisle, and I was like, literally thinking within myself, like, oh my God, these things really do happen, and people evolve literally um, right before your eyes. This beautiful flower, this nice gentleman that used to tie his shoelace, all of a sudden he tossed the damn shoes in the room <laughs> and walks right out. But this is the same guy you met five, six, ten years, fifteen years ago, who was such the dandy candy guy. Um, you would just never want to be out of his sight, you would just never want to be out of her sight. And you're right, there's a lot of complexity of life that sometimes can attribute to the functions and the effectiveness and the long term, the longevity of one's relationship. If you're just locked in right now, um of course we have our executive um panelists here today. Um, Joshua Pear and Lady Ashley Bodden inside the Paul Llewellyn talk show here and actually today's topic um, that we're actually discussing is my interest in relationships um, it, it, it varies where so many it, it is such a broad topic because there's so many interests that spirals you know when you just started it was just this buzz this you met um, under the ackee tree and you were just picking the leaves from the ackee um, tree. And your, your toes were nibbing into the ground and words were very slow coming. <laughs> all that buzz. But all of a sudden, like you relate earlier, that all of a sudden this, this, this transition, this comes in, it's like a child from a child to an adolescent then to actually an adult. This is really the, this, this transparency of, of development, one after the other. And I think, especially right now, Corona going around and there's more relationship defaults, like literally. It's by the throes right now. People are just separating in a nick of a money because, um, and like you mentioned as well, Ash, um, money is never an issue when it comes on to relationships. It's about the mind and the controlling of the mind and what you're deciding to do in your relationship. You were saying something, Josh? Is it never an issue? Um, technically, if you really mean well for the person, um, money is, 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 is a, a major development in anything you do, not just relationship, it's just straight across the board. Mm -hmm. But if you use that as a pivot for your relationship to hold, you ain't going nowhere. Because mm -hmm. the day you don't have money, it's my philosophy, you can you know, you can trash it. Those who are listening right now on the podcast, um, you can trash it as best as you want. But I'm telling you, the day you don't have money, he or she's gone. If that's the basis for which your relationship and the fundamental lies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If your relationship starts on the fact that either of you have money, it's not going to work. Gonna it's not. That's not It'll so never you. work. Because you're there for the money only. And that's... A lot of people do that. A lot of people get in relationships.